Hi there, my name is Shannon and I'm the owner over at UC Trailers on 59 where we custom build food trucks and trailers for people. Um, this is just one of our customers' trailers. Um, he's doing mini donuts and lemonade. Uh, this trailer has quite a few windows. Um, he has some really nice stainless steel serving trays. Um, all these windows come with awnings that are lockable. You can close them when you're done. They have lights for uh, in the evening. Um, the decals and the paint, everybody always asks if we do this. Uh, we don't actually do the painting or the, the decals here. I uh, have a company that I work with that uh, does a fantastic job, as you can see. So we'd be happy to refer you over there. Um, you can outfit your trailer with all kinds of things. You can upgrade the rims. You can leave them plain. Uh, the stickers and all that is, is really customized to what you're doing or what, what you want. Um, the windows that we like to use are the concession style windows. This is just one of the configurations that people uh, like. All of our windows are triple pane and they do come with screens because the health department always wants you to have screens. So that's important. Um, over here we just have just a solid piece of glass because this person is doing mini donuts and as you know a lot of people like to watch and see what's happening. The machine isn't actually in here at the moment. Um, but that's why he's chosen to go with a solid piece. So if we come around here, uh, this customer uh, has quite a large electrical load as you can imagine. So he's actually got two generators in here. And uh, we build the cabinets to house your generator so that you can store it all winter long, uh, protect it from the elements, and most importantly, lock it so that nobody can take your stuff. This trailer was outfitted with an extended hitch uh, just because the weight was going to be so much. So he's got a customized extended hitch here for, for this, this purpose. If you come over here, the doors that we put on the trailers are what we call an RV style door. They always come with a nice window inside with a screen that you can open up and then they also come with a secondary screen door. So that allows you to be uh, cooking at an event and have the, the door open without all the bugs. So it's great for airflow. So if you wanna just come inside the trailer, we'll take a quick look here. Uh, this trailer is an aluminum frame trailer because he was gonna have a, a, a lot of stuff. He wanted to keep the weight of the actual trailer down. So this is an aluminum frame trailer. Typically we go with a steel frame, which is right here beside us, and we'll get to that one after. This one has a nice pull-out step. I'm not gonna pull it out, but it has a really nice pull-out step so you can get in. Inside the trailers, we like to use commercial flooring. Uh, the reason why we do this is because the health department always wants to see a nice floor with four inch coves here in Manitoba. So this is the way we do it. This floor is actually welded in. This is the, the type of commercial flooring that you're gonna see in the hospitals and the schools. It's great. You can pick whatever color you want and uh, we get it installed. The walls, we like to use white. It's nice and bright. It's clean. They're an easy washable surface. Um, the health department really loves it most customers really like it too so if you want to come in all of our stainless steel countertops um, it's easily clean easy to wash and just it stays nice you can put hot things on it and it's not going to ruin your your uh, countertop so we like to use stainless steel all of these countertops are custom made uh, we basically make them you you tell us the floor plan that you want and uh, we draw it out and we go from there and if you say I want this much, that's how much you get. So everything is customized for what you're intending to use the trailer for. So this one here is where the donut machine will sit. People can see outside. He's got the hood fan over top, which is mandatory. All of this stuff is mandatory in Manitoba. Manitoba tends to be one of the stricter provinces. So everything that we do in these trailers either meets or exceeds uh, the provincial um, rules for food trucks. So it's also outfitted with fire suppression. Now his unit is over here. We use all Ansel. These are commercial grade restaurant um, fire suppression systems. So some people have a, 
huge unit to other people just um, whatever they need for like say a donut machine that's what they get and you'll also notice over here is the electrical panel this is all customized as well and you'll see the sticker up there on the panel that means it uh, has passed uh, Manitoba electrical inspection so we also take care of that for you once your trailer is done we will do your electrical inspection and then once you've passed your trailer is stickered and you are good to go we can just take a look at the sink here um, this is another thing that is totally customized in Manitoba, the rule is that you have to have three, um, three sink compartments with a separate hand wash. Now, uh, everyone always says, well, how big are my sinks going to be? Well, that depends on you and what you're doing. The health department says they would like to have the sinks that um, are big enough for you to submerge your largest utensil. So if you're using a great big pot all the time, they would want to see a sink that is big enough for you to submerge the big pot. If you're just using little hand utensils, um, ones about this size would, uh, would be sufficient. This customer has just opted for some uh, plain wire racks throughout here because he, has, he uses it for, for storage. Um, down on the corner there, I think that's a fridge. And this is a great big ice machine that he's using because he also does lemonade. Um, He's got this really neat uh, water, water dispenser that we put in. And I'm just, he's got a cash drawer under here. So, you know, every trailer is different. It's whatever you're going to be doing. Uh, we, we sit down with you, we talk about what you'd like to do, and uh, then we drop a floor plan, and that's pretty much it. So back to the water system though, um, we like to keep everything tucked away because nobody wants to be standing outside and looking in and see all of your, your uh, plumbing. So uh, he also has a water filter in here. So we get the hot water tank, we have the fresh water tank, and we also have the gray water tank. And what else is in here? The hot water tank and there's something else. What am I missing? Oh, there's a water pump in here as well. And then we just, we build the cabinets around um, whatever it is you're using. And then we put these aluminum doors so that when you're traveling, nothing ever falls out. And you can pick whatever color you want. In here, he's also got the yellow coving. So if you want a red trailer with red coving inside, that's no problem. And what were you pointing at, Norm? The gray water tank is underneath. It is underneath with the valve. Some are inside and some are outside. Yes, that is correct. Um, yeah, for easy dumping. So the gray water tank is below the trailer and the release valve so that you can empty your trailer uh, when you need to. So I guess that would wrap it up for this trailer. And uh, we'll go on and we'll look at another trailer.